an afternoon. May I see our identification? Nope, not valid. Right this way. Okay, so this is the basement, and I made intense precautions to ensure it's 100% soundproof. You first. the bugs out. Ever hear of the Wii U? Hey, hey, turn the lights on, I can't see. We play or we party? I like both. Hello Fire Ants, hope you are fantastic today. Back in 2021, we took a look at Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. As simple as these games were, they were incredibly influential in the Wii's success. They were so easy for families to just pick up and play. And judging by the sales, you can tell a lot of people have their own Wii Sports. It was just such a good time to be a Nintendo, and more specifically, the Wii. Now the Wii U on the other hand, yeah, not so much. Nintendo really tried to make their next console similar to the Wii, hoping for the same amount of success. The problem with this, however, was the fact that people didn't even know what the heck the Wii U even was. So you got the Wii Remote, Wii Nunchuck, Wii Steering Wheel, Wii Motion Plus, Wii Sports, Wii U, uh, um, Wipeout. The Wii U is its own console, but it was heavily marketed as another way to play Wii games. But it's not a Wii, it's a separate console. And my gosh, the games released on the system did not help with the confusion either. Let's use New Super Mario Bros. as an example. New Super Mario Bros. Wii and New Super Mario Bros. U are two separate games. However, at the glance of a casual eye, these look like they'll give you the exact same experience. So based on how successful Wii Sports was, Nintendo decided to do that again, but for the Wii U. And that brings us to Wii Sports Club, which released on November 7th, 2013. So put on your wrist strap, we're going in. This is Wii Sports Club for the Nintendo Wii U. So compared to Wii Sports simplistic and stylized menu, Wii Sports Club has a more colorful and geometric design that I kind of like, it stands out more. Here in the sports selection screen, you'll notice each sport is locked. This is kind of where the club element comes into play. To actually play the sports, you must first buy a membership pass. There is the day pass, which grants you access to every sport for only 24 hours. A perfect option for players who have a day to devote to Wii Sports Club. <laughs> yeah, like I'm actually gonna play this for a day. And then there is the club pass, which lets you unlock a specific sport of your choice forever, which is $9 for each sport. The funny thing is that it gives you access to a single sport, but if you choose baseball, you get boxing fit as well which technically makes boxing a free sport. <laughs> we'll see why. Nintendo also released a physical version of the game, which includes all the sports. Though now, if the eShop closed for good, this does unfortunately appear to be the only way to play Wii Sports Club. I am sorry for anyone in 2023 who won the purchase of Day Pass. I truly sympathize with you. Now with 24 hours on the clock, we're kinda in a hurry, so let's check out tennis. We have a few options, that being a single game match, two game match, and three game match. This game also makes heavy use of the Wii Motion Plus an accessory for the Wii Remote that improves motion controls. So swing your Wii Remote to hit that tennis ball. I win. Hey guys, check it out. I've cloned myself. This should be pretty interesting. Hi. Oh, hey. What's going on? Oh, hi. Well, hi. Hi. Wow. Hey. 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 What's up? Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah, playing tennis with three other clones of yourself is pretty weird, but hey, that's typical Wii Sports Club stuff. Time for the beloved Wii Sports classic, bowling. Hold the B button and swing the Wii Remote to throw the ball. And yes, I know what you're thinking. I can throw the ball backwards. The Wii U is saved. 99? Hmm, pretty good score. You can also throw the ball into someone else's lane. Don't know why you would, but you can. Oh yeah. Okay, now that's impressive. Let's check out another one of bowling's modes. A hundred pin game. This one is so much fun. Something. 100 pin game was always one of the highlights in every single Wii Sports game, and it's still really good here. Here's a juicy little secret. If you manage to perfectly roll the ball along the gutter, it will hit this button in the back, knocking down all the pins and granting you a perfect strike. This is what made you a true gamer back in the day. Let's try spin control. No. Next up on our adventure is... Golf? 
Welcome, Welcome to the Wii Sports, Sports Resort, Resort Golf. Golf. It's, it's a, a beautiful last sunny day. day. Our guys <laughs> in a nice 50 degrees. So folks, this is speed of Welcome everyone to Wii Sports Club Golf. Happy to be here for the final tournament. Heard we had some really great players this outing. Can't wait to see who makes it to the championships. Here we have our first play. Okay, okay. I've been pretty lenient with you the past two years. But to be in the final? Dude, you don't have a chance. You never had one. You sure you don't want to practice with putt-putt and go vacation? Nah, I'm good. Your helpful constructive criticism has given me the ability to score a perfect 18-hole game. In fact, I don't even need the Wii Motion Plus to help assist me. I'm going to win, and you're going to take back every word that you said. Here we are on the final hole. Let's first recap Anthony's score. Although Anthony is failing miserably, it's actually quite impressive. He's the first player in history to have the worst score in any game. I'd ask for a round of applause, but it seems all the patrons have gone home in boredom, with me being the only one left, of course. Yay! This final hole is sure to be filled to the top with pressure and regret. As Anthony begins his final putt with strong 12-mile-an-hour winds to the southwest, this certainly will not be easy. Yes! I did it! I got par! I'm out of here. Golf in Wii Sports Club is one of the two games that I think actually benefited from this remake. Just like in Wii Sports, you use the Wii Remote to swing your club. However, now you can use the Wii U gamepad as the ground to see your ball. It's kind of a cute gimmick, I guess. Although, I'm kept up at night by the thought of how many people use this as a scale. I think this is a really good way to switch up the gameplay, but it does feel significantly harder to swing your club this time around. The slightest twist on your controller will curve your shot, and it seems almost impossible to hit the ball straight. Come on, just hit the ball. Just, just, hit, just hit the ball. Just hit, hit, hit the ball. Bro! Overall, golf was a pretty fun time, despite controlling horribly. Time for baseball. This is my favorite sport in the original, so let's see if it still holds up here. And I've gotta say, this is the best sport that Wii Sports Club has to offer. And why is that? Because of its inclusion of the Wii U gamepad. Just like in Wii Sports, you swing the remote to swing your bat. But when it's time to pitch, you'll use the Wii U gamepad as a glove. This is super cool. With the Wii U gamepad, you use the buttons to select your pitch. Then all you gotta do is use the triggers to throw the ball. If the batter hits it, move around and try to line up the shot with the ball. Just like an old person trying to take a picture of a random individual. I really like this change because it actually gives the player who's pitching a thing to do. And it also gives the outfielder some use, as you lining up the catch determines whether or not the players catch it to result in an out. And lastly is boxing. I hear this is everyone's favorite back in the original game, and with this being an HD remake, I can't wait to see how thrilling and exhilarating this game is on the Wii U. This is awesome! What? What is this? Am I seeing this right? Look at Wii Sports Boxing. Now back at club. Boxing in Wii Sports Club is so clunky, so slow, and honestly not even fun to play. You'll use two Wii remotes instead of the Wii remote and nunchuck, but it just feels so awkward holding two Wii remotes. They removed all thrill of the game into a bare bones, lifeless, and just outright boring experience. And unfortunately, that kind of sums up the entire game. Wii Sports was so accessible for anyone to get into play, and while Wii Sports Club is similar to that experience, it just misses the mark. The Wii sold as well as it did because of Wii Sports, and it's not hard to see why. Nintendo really wanted to recreate the phenomenon of the Wii U, but I just don't think anyone is asking for a new Wii Sports game. Wii Sports was a fantastic game that anyone can play due to its simple and easy to understand controls. Wii Sports Resort expanded on this concept by adding brand new sports and a beautiful vacation-y theme. But Wii Sports Club is simply an HD downgrade, taking a huge step back in the franchise, barely helping the Wii U's sales. And that honestly makes me sad because it didn't need to be this lifeless experience. It never added anything new to the table, which is kind of the point of the sequel to begin with. Sure, there's some new minigames, but when the main portion of the game is just an HD remake of Wii Sports without anything substantially new, it almost renders the game pointless. If Nintendo wants to make another Wii Sports game, they need to find ways to innovate on the formula. Add some new sports, modes, heck they were on the right track when I had it online, but come on, who was playing this game when it came out? I really enjoyed this two year journey looking back on the Wii Sports series. These games are a lot of fun, and its simplistic nature means anyone can play them. Wii Sports as well as Resort are both amazing in their own right, and if you like Wii Sports Club, that's great. 
These are fantastic games. They really are. I'd gladly go back and replay them any day. And that was Wii Sports Club. Not the best game ever, and certainly not a great sequel either, but a fun way to revisit Wii Sports with a new coat of paint, despite it controlling worse. I am kind of sad that this is the end of the Wii Sports trilogy, though all good things do come to an end eventually. I can see somewhere in the far future Nintendo giving this franchise a second chance, because a game where both the hardcore and casual audience can enjoy the exact same experience is the perfect game in my opinion. Thank you all so much for coming with me on this Wii Sports retrospective. Your support literally means so much to me, and these are some of my favorite videos I've ever done. Like, ever. <laughs> Going back and replaying games that are special to your childhood would bring a smile to anyone. And for me, that's Wii Sports, not Club. Although, to be fair, Wii Sports doesn't have a day pass.